Hello again everyone, it's Dave from Medimatch. Here at Medimatch we have installed many hundreds of customers with, with Medit products and as such we've also dealt with a lot of technical support issues and so in this video we're going to cover the five most common technic technical support questions or issues that we get here at Medimatch. So the first one is got to be number one which is um, I've done the upper and lower scans, I've done the bite scans and the automatic alignment has failed, what do I do? So the first thing we're going to do is you can see we've gotten a bit of a mess here with our scans on screen. So if you ever get into a situation you're not happy, click on this icon down here, manual alignment. Okay, and then if the components are manipulatable like this, that's fine, you're in the right position. If not, you can click this icon down the bottom, detach all, and it will separate all of the, um, all of the components of the scan. So once we've got them all apart, all we need to do is click on corresponding points on both the lower and the bite scan and the upper and the bite scan. Okay, so you can do up to three points um, on each scan. So you can just do one if you want, but the more you do, the more accurate it will be. So let's have a look. We'll, we'll put one point, um, okay, we'll put a point here. Uh, we'll put a point in the middle of this tooth and we'll put a point down here. Okay, so we're just gonna click roughly in the same positions on the bite scan. And the computer will then work out exactly where, that, where it needs to be. You're just giving it a rough idea. And we'll now do the same for the upper. So let's go here here and here, give it a rough idea and now it's put it into the right position. So we'll just need to do one on this side, so one set, so we'll just do the upper. So we'll do a point here, here and here, and the same here, here and here, and it should register for both sides, there you go. And then we click the little exit button down here. and. There we go, everything's saved. We've got a tick next to the occlusion stage up here and we can go and uh, process as normal. Okay, so we'll just click the tick and save, which will lead us on to our next problem quite nicely. Um, this one, I do see every now and again, and most people I think work the problem out on their by themselves, but occasionally you'll see a case that's processing and it, it's stuck at a st certain stage in processing. Um, it won't go past that stage and you can leave it for hours and hours and it won't move. Um, there's two things you can, you can do. You can either um, close down the software and restart it and then see once it um, reprocesses, so you'll have to find the case, um, it'll say pro, uh, process required, you click on it, um, click process now, um, and it will try and process it again. If it hangs up again, what I would usually do is open up the case, um, wait for all the scan data to load up, and then go to um, a, a small area that is insignificant, so maybe a little bit of stray data that you don't need, and just make a change to the scan, just a slight change. So just chop a little bit away and then save the case again. And this will often um, re sort of generate the process, uh, a different processing process, um, and will often work that second time. Okay. Okay, so our next problem um, is how do I know or how do I update? Uh, Medit link and Windows. So it's really important to keep both up to date in order to get the best user experience. Um, to check what version you're currently on, now I'm on the latest version here, but you can go to the settings cog down here. Sorry, it's just registering a previous scan. Okay, so to check which version you're on, you go to the settings cog down here and click about, and it will flash up the version that you're on. So this is 2.6.5 build 320, so that's the latest version. If I wanted to check for a new version, or if I knew there was a new version and I wanted to install it, all I would have to do is to close down Medit Link and restart the software. And then when you restart, it will automatically flash up if an update's available for you. Just click install and run through the procedure as usual. For Windows, um, I would go type updates and then check for updates. Okay, so um, I've, I'm all up to date. I have got Windows 11 if I want to. Um, you can use 11 or 10, it's entirely up to you, um, or Mac. Um, so this is completely up to date. So if there were any, I would click um, Update Now, 
and it would update them and then it may well ask you to uh, perform a restart um, but as long as you shut down these updates should um, should download automatically as long as you restart your PC properly regularly and that means if you're a, a laptop owner not just shutting the lid um, you physically need to go to the start the Windows button power and shut down and then when you restart your computer this will have all the updates applied to it automatically so yeah just make sure you restart regularly and, and you'll be fine the next problem is um, I was shown how to uh, partner with a lab when we first were installed. Um, we've made some changes to our labs who we use and we want to partner with them again. How do we do it? Okay, so the easiest way to do this is to go down to the home icon from uh, Medilink, the my account icon. And this will open up your cloud account. You'll see our case box. Okay, so once it loads, you'll see your case box. And on the left-hand side, you'll see similar tabs to what you see in MeditLink, um, but, but there's a few differences. The main difference being you've got a Partners tab here. So if you click on the Partners tab, and you can then search for any lab that you wish to partner with. Okay, so as long as the lab has a lab account, you'll be able to find them in here. Okay, so you simply um, request partnership, so you click details. And then once it loads down in the bottom right, there will be um, a request partnership icon and you just click the icon and it will send them a link. And uh, here we go, request. Oh, I'm already partnered with them obviously, so it would say uh, request partnership here. You just click request partnership and they'll be able to accept the invite and then you'll be paired. And then when you hit the order button in, uh, in Medit Link, they will be in the drop down list. Okay, um, so the final question we're going to go through today, which is really common, is how do I attach files, usually photos, to a case? Okay, so we're just going to pick this random case. Um, I was messing around scanning a bridge, um, but we want to attach photos to this case. So all we do is we go to the attach icon, and then we find our location of our photo, and then we can highlight the ones we want. So this is for a smart design, for example, and press open. And you'll see in the list of the file viewer list on the left hand side, you'll, you'll see them appear there in just a moment. So you could do this with radiographs um, or um, CT scan images. And there are our photos attached. And then we could run the smart design if we wanted to, or we can just keep it as a record to go with that case um, for posterity. Okay, so that's the five most common problems that we see here um, in, in Medit technical support at Medimatch. Um, please remember to go to medimatch.co.uk for all your scanning needs and thank you for watching. See you again.